good morning guys welcome back to the channel my name is Jason Carr and you're watching Old Car Auto Guy and today we're taking my wife's car to work because we had to boost it this morning to get it going so she's got Junior's vehicle and uh, Junior will take what I drove home because he needs to get that cleaned up as it's a new purchase We'll get this back to work and we will test the battery and we will test the new alternator that we just put in it and make sure that everything's working fine. So today's episode is going to be a little bit of a fun one. You see, I watched a video a while back um, from a guy named Gimme D on cars and he had his little Mazda and he wanted to see how far that that Mazda would go when the little fuel mileage calculator told him he had zero kilometers to empty or zero miles to empty. So today, we're gonna do that with the 2012 Dodge Grand Caravan. So we're just getting ready to head into St. Andrews for lunch in the old Toyota, the 600,000 kilometer Toyota. And although I had said I was going to do the zero miles to empty challenge in the 2012 Dodge Grand Caravan, we had somebody that come in late on Friday who was interested in it and I really didn't wanna take it off the lot. So I took the next best thing. So we're gonna do the <laughs> So we're gonna do the zero miles to empty. The first best thing. We're gonna do the zero miles to empty or zero kilometers to empty in the Toyota van. Now, for those of you just tuning in, this van has 390,000 miles. That's 620,000 kilometers of change. So I doubt that this thing is gonna get the same miles per gallon that it did four or five hundred thousand kilometers ago. So as we sit right now, we're at 37 miles to empty. So we're gonna keep driving this all weekend and I do have three gallons of gas in the back, just in case. Now granted, today it's raining and it's raining pretty good. So probably not the best day to be doing a challenge like this, seeing as how if I do run out of gas, I'm gonna have to get out in the rain and dump that three gallon jug into this thing. You're made of sugar. I am. So, because it's my wife's van and she loves it so much, we just may get her to do it today. <laughs> I imagine. Anyways, so we will keep you posted on how close to zero kilometers to empty or zero miles to empty, and we'll go from there. So as we sit at 16 miles to empty, we are just about ready to hit the highway and get up to some speeds, hopefully burn through a little more fuel and uh, we're heading towards St. George. Just switched to uh, four miles to empty. We're at exit 45, so we're gonna take exit 45, turn around and head back towards town. And in hopes that the three gallons of gas that I brought with us will get us back to the next gear gas station. Now, even with the mileage that this van has on it, I'm guessing that it's still giving us somewhere probably around 23 to 24 miles to gallon. So, we should be good. So it is official, we are at zero miles to empty. So we are going to reset the trip and see how far we can go. So we're one and a half miles in on zero miles to empty. And no hesitation, she's not working any different. The gas gauge needle is buried below the empty mark. We're now two and a half miles in. And this little experiment that we're doing here reminds me of that time on the movie Apollo 11 where the three astronauts have circled the moon and they're trying to calculate how much fuel they have left to do one last burn to get them out of the moon's orbit and back towards Earth. And I believe it was Tom Hanks' character that says they always put a little bit more. 
So they're just going by the calculation of what they know is supposed to be in the tank, but uh, alluding to the fact that there's always a little bit more in the tank than you think there is. We're now at three and a half miles, still going strong. We are now 6.2 miles in, and it reminds me of the time, and I'm not sure how any of you guys are feeling right now, but when I was watching Gimme D on Cars video, and I'll put his link in the box right here, the whole time I'm watching it, and he keeps popping up with you know updates on how far along he was, I was literally on the edge of my seat thinking, how much further can this car go? Now granted, he was driving a little four-cylinder Mazda, and I'm driving a, you know, it's a 3.3 liter V6 in a Toyota van. So I'm guessing that we're probably going to see somewhere in the 21 to 23 mile range, but we're heading back towards St. Stephen now, and uh, we may run out of highway before we got to turn around and head her back the other way one more time. 7.4 miles. So some of you might be asking at what speed am I traveling at? Well, I am going down a four-lane highway. I've got the cruise control set at about 118 kilometers an hour, which is about 73 or 4 miles an hour. And uh, we just hit 10 miles into our trip once the uh, car's computer told us we were at zero miles to empty just come up upon St. David Ridge Hill and uh, usually we're going to have to downshift or we'll do it by itself going up this hill at 13.1 miles into our little journey here. So we are coming up upon exit 9 which is the uh, exit to take you back into St. Stephen and uh, as we continue on we are at 16.7 miles and still going. So exit 7 is the next exit, which we may end up having to take to spin around. Well, there is one more, maybe we'll go up to exit 4. There's exit 7, I think we're going to take the next one. That is if we make it. Look at all them crop circles. So we're back on the highway after just doing the little switch around there at exit 4. 21 miles. We're getting close guys. experiment on the highway and the biggest reason is because when I do run out of gas I can get off the shoulder of the road quite a ways and not have to worry about traffic. Secondly is on this end of the highway there's not a whole lot of traffic to begin with so I might be a little less likely for someone to stumble upon me that I know who sees me run out of gas and think that I did it by mistake jokes on them, I'm doing this on purpose. We are just crossing the St. David Ridge overpass, getting ready to head back down the other side of the hill, and we are at 26.2 miles into our little journey from zero kilometers to empty. And I see up ahead my dad's old 56 Mercury. Suppose we can catch up to it before we run out of gas. jerry can in the back of the van. 
at 34.4 miles over the limit, over the zero miles to empty, I'm still a little bit nervous. I'm almost reluctant to want to pull out and pass a vehicle on the highway because at any moment it could stagger, stutter. And here we are. We just hit 40 miles. Not only did we exceed the amount of mileage that I thought we were going to do, we're getting pretty darn close to doubling it. And we're only two miles away from exit 45 again. So this spot right here is where we pulled off when we hit zero miles to empty. Well, we've officially doubled the amount of fuel mileage that I thought that we were going to get. I had guessed that we were going to do somewhere between 21 and 23 miles. Here we are at 46 and change, 47, and still going. But my gut tells me it ain't going to be much longer. 50 miles, are you kidding me? When is it going to end? 50 miles. And we're heading back up St. David again. So, as exciting as this is, it's getting a little bit boring. We are at 71.2 miles and there's no sign of stopping in sight. I don't think it'll be much longer though. We're getting passed by a cop car. So just as I stop recording and hit my button, the cruise control shut off and the engine started to hesitate and die. It just died. Look, there goes the RPM. She's dying, boys. At 72.4 miles, she's died. So hopefully I can get off this ramp because I'm like right on the ramp. And that's all she wrote. <laughs> 72.4 miles on a 2006 Toyota Sienna van with 620 something thousand kilometers on it. You can go when your van reads zero miles to empty. A few moments later. So we're just gonna prime it a couple times before we start it. Make sure we get that fuel to the engine. She started right up. It still says zero to empty. But there's proof right there, 72.4 miles. So we're gonna go fill this thing up full of gas. I want to take the opportunity to thank my wife for letting me use the van uh, for this experiment. She has been such a supporter of me with this channel that, you know, I think that she deserves a little bit of credit due to the amount of time that I spend creating these videos as well as editing them. And so for that, honey, I love you and thank you for allowing me to do this. Folks, if you like this video, and you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and bell notification down below so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Remember, always focus on the windshield and not the rearview mirror. Love you guys, God bless you. We'll see you in the next upload. With a fresh snort of gas, we're back up to full tank at 413 miles to empty.